Yes, this is the position on the board. Oh my goodness, Divya. I mean, she played amazing defense. We have to give her credit, yes, right? She absolutely. Most players would have lost that position quite quickly. Yeah. She held on, and now she's winning this game. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, and Divya is a, a master class in swindling the game. <laughs> I have seen so much of her, and I can vouch for that, and she has demonstrated it in the biggest tournament of India today. <laughs> yeah, and yes. look at this move, G5. Hoping that Divya makes a mistake, takes the H pawn, and then the white pawn goes and tries to become a queen. That would be a game losing blunder. She takes the correct way. And now the G pawn is another passer to worry about. Yes. I mean, white's problems don't end. No, they don't. But I get what she did. She wants to keep checking the black king mm -hmm. to go this way somewhere here and then go after the pawn. So. How will Divya be able to yeah. win this game? Yeah, I'm also wondering, like, how do how do we keep the pawn? Like, King E1, maybe? Or King F3? Oh, maybe she's going to go for this pawn? Oh, that's also... Yes. But then... Uh, King B7? Now here for sure, G4, G4, right? You just push the... Push both of them, and the uh, rook is helpless. Yeah, that's true. But now, what if we keep attacking the E2 pawn? Like, let's say, Rook F7, and we go to E1, right? With our so King? So, check... Here, rook here. Maybe we can stick to the live board anyway yeah. because they will uh, show us exactly show us. what is going to happen. So uh, we'll see. But this should be. Oh, by the way, Divya down under ten seconds, so she needs to move. move. She could make. She played G f rook f seven. Mm -hmm. So we can. Oh, they have been playing so fast. King g two, rook e seven, king f two, defending the pawn. Now maybe king to e one. Yes, I see her king. No, it's not on e one yet. She hasn't um, moved yet. She can repeat once again a couple you know, twenty seconds. There's always so. a danger of, of forgetting, <laughs> like <laughs> how many times you repeated. Uh, in time pressure, I don't think it's. A, I have I have made that mistake a few times. Oh, you know how this is winning. So I, I'll just draw arrows. Yeah. So the king goes here. Okay, she, she'll eventually bring her king e one. I think yeah. she she so went the long way, but to oh, gain time. Yeah. Yep, she'll go king d one, king e one, and then when the rook comes to g seven to stop the pawn, you play g three. Because when the rook takes your king f2 and you're able to get that queen. This is really uh, difficult stuff to see from a distance, like from far away. But if, if she eventually brings her king, it's going <laughs> everywhere. But if it goes to e1, she will win this game. But she needs to find that. I yeah, mean, it's not easy. Such less time with only 10 seconds increment. I think she might even go for the h5 pawn, but then that's... Again, not easy to. Yeah. Oh, no. If you go King G5, Rook, oh, the king is already on B7. <laughs> I know what you wanted. You yes. wanted to get your Rook yes. to block the uh, uh, black Rook from Stein Juan. So she. she I what think she, is she doing? She has repeated the position a few times. Yeah, it's hard to keep track. And she. There's no notation from the players, so they there's won't live, be. Uh, but there's a live transmission, so the. Can the arbiter. No, the arbiter doesn't step in. I don't think it's like the fifth time repetition. But she goes king f1. So if she plays king e1 now, she wins the game. Because the next move is g3. And the only thing white can do is take this pawn. And the black king escapes right out. So this is a win for Divya if she is able to keep her nerves. Yeah, she has to find it. She has gained a lot of time, 25 seconds. And now maybe king e1. Yes, she, played she goes it. for it. Oh my goodness. I mean... Uh, the way she's played this game just has been uh, very, very strong. Beast mode yeah. on. Yes, absolutely. And Divya, Divya is so good with spotting tactics in minimal time. As I mentioned, she plays these 10-second games online. I mean, that stuff. So uh, I, I think that she might have found it. Let's see, let's see. And Rook. the good news is she knows she can never lose this position, right? The, yeah. Even if white gets a queen and she takes, the worst that happens is she makes a draw. But she actually wins the game because of this G-pawn. The rook is so bad at stopping two separate pawns. I have a feeling that probably Nino also found it because she's hesitating to play rook G7. She brought her, uh, brought her hand to the rook but stopped short. Uh, she did grab a queen, did Nino, so she yeah. might even promote. She but, might promote. But it's losing as well. Like the, the reason why it's losing, as we keep saying, is the pawns are separate and the rook is not able to go behind both of them. But what do we do now? A8, rook takes, king takes, and g3, and then rook g7? Yeah, so g3, rook g7, king d1. Yeah, no, g2 maybe. Uh, either way, because king d1, I'm going to ah, queen, yes, yeah? Sir, so, yes, no, so you yeah, check, and yeah. I go king c1. Yeah. I just run away, and you can't stop both of my pawns. Yeah. Actually, the king will run to a1. Wow, <laughs> that would be beautiful. Yeah, that's how they yeah. win. Yeah. The king just runs away from the checks. Wow. 
this is a big moment uh, for Divya, and uh, we'll just quickly just we won't go to another game, but I just want to see the results. Yeah, I think Savita's game might be over. I'll just have a look. Uh, Wait, Shula has... drew. What? <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. We'll look after this game uh, concludes, oh, just because yes. it's such a big moment. But it, somehow, Shula she swindled the draw. And oh, then brilliant. Harika is still playing, trying to make a draw of her own against Savita. But that game should go on for a while. Yeah, but and Benjun, as uh, we mentioned, won after Irina resigned after E5. So two results already. Uh, Vantika's game, we are not sure because the game stopped the live transmission. Yeah. Yes. But there is a result. Uh, it says Vantika won. So, yes. I mean, that hasn't changed. So maybe the position is not the speed, but... If she won, that would be yeah. a tremendous result for her. We, should, of course, should uh, celebrate her successes, but we will verify that and get back to you. But what's not up for debate is that Divya Deshmukh is winning this game. Yeah. Uh, she has found all the right way. And, you know, I think sometimes there's a swindle, and other times there's resilient defense, and you need to flip that switch. And Nino was not able to do that of, I'm better, I'm better, but she was not winning, first of all. And sometimes you just stop thinking about winning the game and just think about the objective evaluation. She didn't do that in this game. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Let's uh, Also, I just want to point out that Savita has made a draw against Harika, so all the games are over. Okay. And this is the only game that's going on. Uh, I hope we have the transmission right. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem like that based yes. on uh, uh, the board. But and for Savita, that's a good result on paper, but she'll probably be a bit disappointed yeah, she couldn't absolutely. convert. Har Harkam will be very happy with the draw. Uh, you know, taking her time and, you know, this idea is so beautiful. And once you spot it, of course, you're going to go for it. And here she brought, it looks like she brought her rook to, to F6. F6. What a confusing rook move. A6 is her idea. Aha, but g3, rook a6, you take, and then you, you play g2, g1, you get a queen time. But, but then you have chances. Yeah, that's yeah. a good try. Other variations were definitely losing, so this is the best try How possible. How is rook a7? Oh, oh rook a7 Should was winning. Rook yeah. a7 was winning. Yeah, now it's complicated. <laughs> Should, okay, then. <laughs> should definitely be a win yeah. uh, for black. There's not even a single check for white right now. And this king is actually, you know, it's sort of in the right direction. It wants to hide, but maybe it wants to hide over here, you know, away from all the checks. But this king, I think, is going to find itself in some trouble. Yeah, this is very difficult. But now maybe queen e4. I, I'm, I'm just wondering, where do we bring our queen, queen so that uh, we have some chance of a perpetual? Yeah, that's probably a good square. And can I... Where do I bring king my pieces? Two? Like queen g3 comes to mind oh, okay. just to get that king out of there. Yeah. It's not easy to pick a square for any of the pieces. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe the king hides on g1, yes. Uh, I mean, queen queen g3, queen d5 was played. So mm -hmm. there is a check on a5 now. Uh -huh. Maybe queen g3, queen a5, king f1, and queen b5. Yeah, you're like Stop barely like pinning and trying to save the... Uh, but it's it's losing for yeah white that's for sure you need look okay. at nice move yeah you can also block a check on a5 with the queen if you want mm -hmm. uh, but i think the king can also go to f2 so that's even stronger just hide on f2 and bring the queen to f3 mm -hmm. nicely done yeah she's played very well divya what a day of chess she's had yeah you know, i think uh, sometimes for younger players you know of course they're celebrated but they ha you know they haven't been able to necessarily get those big upsets yeah. uh, but th so far today just incredible chess from her well, for the youngsters especially even if one and if Vantika's result is right yeah then Vantika has beaten Humpy <laughs> I mean, oh my god <laughs> that's a huge result for her and for Divya to win this game she'll be in the lead and Humpy and Harika would be at the bottom of the standings that's, that's unexpected but I, we ask this question often in any uh, game or sport is there a changing of the guard, right? Like, it, you know, it's too early. It's just the first day, but we are seeing the youngsters shine on the first day here. Yeah. Do you think that makes the experienced players want to fight even more or it puts more pressure on them? What do you... It's, it's pressure. It's debatable. I think it's pressure. Yeah. Of course, they want to... Everyone wants to win, but I think, you know, who, when you ask people, you did a, a poll... Who do you expect to win this tournament? A lot of people would say, of course, Ju and Jun is the Women's World Champion, but Humpy and um, Harika would be right after. So I think there is a lot of pressure on the uh, hometown heroes, uh, you know, the Indian players who are so experienced, who have the GM titles. But Divya just joined the party, and she said, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to uh, enjoy myself here. So King F1. Yeah. 
king f1, king f2. Uh, king f2, maybe queen h2 is the problem. Yeah, that's a little bit tricky. Yes, so king f1 looks nice. Uh, queen g5, she wants to pick up the h5 <laughs> pawn and she'll make another queen. Wow. Uh, and keep the king on e1. <laughs> also, if she gets a free move, king f1 right. is very annoying because Next. you can only play queen d3 to stop it, but I like the the greedy way. Yeah. Just take this pawn. Yeah, it's the simpler way. And yeah, it's very unfortunate. Black, white's king is very unfortunately placed on a6. I mean, it's not even around the pawn that you can somehow pick it up. It's, it's just on a6. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I think what's an interesting Very. question is without both of these pawns, mm -hmm. would this be still winning? And I think it, it would be, yeah. uh, but that's much more difficult. With the pawns, if you can just take and then use the H pawn, that should be the simplest path forward. Yeah, I, I, there, are, there are not many blunders that black can make in this position. No. Nah. So, um, yeah, definitely. We will, we will try to get Divya on the broadcast if we can. Yeah, that would be excellent. Yeah. Uh, of course... Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, raining a lot, and the players need to get back to the hotel and get rest and, and dinner. But it would be amazing to hear her thoughts because yeah. two and a half out of three, you can't script that any better, especially she won with black. She drew Ju and Jun, you know, just out of the opening. I yeah. mean, a forced variation, and then beating Nino yeah. would be amazing. Yeah, beating Haruka and Nino on the same day. Great <laughs> with <result>. black. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it's... Matters. <laughs> it's what you said. You said this to me yesterday. You really felt that Divya, um, sometimes players with the white pieces, they feel the pressure that they have to win. That's the, the slogan. Win with white, draw with black. But maybe without that pressure, she's able to shine more. Yeah, probably. I think, I also know that Divya likes to be the underdog. Mm -hmm. And that really works in her favor in this tournament. Yeah. I mean, she is the, uh, I mean, she and Savita are equally rated. So for her, Queen G5, okay uh, queen then. G6, yeah, she was trying to... Uh, uh, queen G6, yeah. <laughs> trying to trade this way. Yeah. King, King F1. F1, yes. And Queen D3 mostly will be met with King Queen into H5. Queen F7 check, okay. Uh, queen G2 and Queen A2 she wants to play. But what about King G1? King G1, Queen E6. Six. Six. And queen h5, we support the pawn. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to look for something yeah. uh, else. And just, yeah. Wait, she, put it? she played king e1. Wow. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, maybe she yeah. just wants to gain time. Okay, queen e3. Yeah, they are both down under 30 seconds. And with 10 seconds added per move, that should uh, be good. But I, I'm starting to get the feeling she's not so confident about the winning plan. I mean, I, I don't like the fact that she's repeating the position. Because what if, you know, the... I mean, she claims a draw or something. Like, it's just dangerous to do that. Why Why do that? But okay, I get it. Queen e3 and maybe next move will be a king move. Yeah, it seems to be that way. And what's white's move? Is she going to move her king just to do something? No, queen d6. She wants to keep the king off the d-file. So have, have we seen this position before? It looks familiar. Yeah, yes. It's <laughs> the second time we are seeing it. So queen f6 will be played. But then queen f2. Yeah. And actually, that's and game that over. Is, that's it. Yeah, that is it. Okay. So queen f2. So queen f2 and game over. Promote the pawn, and that's definitely a game. And, okay, queen takes h6 is a okay, desperate then. attempt. But yeah. once you promote the second queen, there are no checks. And that is very clean win for Divya Deshmukh in the end. But Nino is going to be very disappointed. Definitely. Um, do, do you think I should, like, go now and maybe... Uh, oh, yeah, maybe we can see if we can... Uh, Oh, no, they're still playing. Okay, <laughs> so queen f3 on the board. Uh, it's mate in one, no? Uh, uh, mate in two. <laughs> Mate's coming. Mate's uh, coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly how many moves, but okay. okay. You, if the queens come off the board, of course, it's just a, a simple win. Right. And I think that's all that Divya is focused on. She yeah. doesn't need to deliver check. I think Nino is just playing out of inertia. Like, you want to sort of accept what has happened give yeah. yourself time to accept what has happened and, and it's really unfortunate for nino because the first two queen of eight yeah queen, queen of eight that's me i will definitely Di try and get her okay and divya does officially win and we're gonna try to get her for an interview but uh, i mean all of india must be thrilled for divya deshmukh who just won another game with the black pieces 